It's the 2009 NRA show in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm Martin Gonzalez for the Firearms Channel. With me today is Tim Vaughn from Dillon Precision. Tim, how you doing? Pretty good, Martin. What an event today. What do you think? Yeah, shows are always good. Hey, Tim, you know, Dillon Precision known year around every year, 20 some odd years, right, for having the best presses, the best warranty, the best service. But tell me, who would buy a 550? Like, why should I buy a 550 versus, say, a 650 or a 1050? What are some of the things that are great about the 550? Tell me that. That's a good question. The customer who would want a 550 is either the hobbyist or competitor who loads a myriad of rifle and pistol rounds, needs probably a medium amount of ammunition, doesn't need a thousand rounds in a week of ammo, but a couple hundred would be good, and has a variety of calibers, rifle and pistol, the 550 is one of our lowest cost rifle and pistol reloading presses, mm -hmm. and it is capable of loading everything from 32 caliber up to 338 Lapua mag. So that's about 180 or 90 calibers thereabouts. So there's no greater versatility on a 550. It isn't the fastest machine, but it makes on average anywhere, depending on the caliber, three to 500 rounds an hour. Now, what does it cost to get into a 550? Right off the bat, just under $470 for the press with a set of dies, which are sold separately. And now, what about this one, the way it's set up? Is that in that price range, or is it a little higher? With this press has all the bells and whistles on it. Everything we can throw at it with the kitchen sink. The strong mount, the roller handle, the powder check, the case feeder upgrade, which is usable with handgun calibers on the case of the case feeder. Uh, this machine here will probably top out about 900 bucks with everything thrown on it. Thank you, Tim Vaughn with Dylan Precision. For the FirearmsChannel.com, I'm Martin Gonzalez. Thanks for watching.